Alrighty. Okie dokes. What's up guys, this is Nick at stridewise.com. Um, I wonder if I should have a better way to start videos. I don't know. I like it, that's your classic. Alright, well here I am, stridewise.com, and with me is Weston from Rose Anvil. Uh, how's it going? Good. Thank you for coming Glad on the channel. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming on my channel in your yeah, store, right. which I've disrupted with my <laughs> arrival to Salt Lake oh, City. Oh, it's good having you. We thought we'd do a little video on 10 ways to keep your boots from stinking, yeah. which is a question that we get a lot. And somehow neither of us have really covered this before, even though boots are things that go on your feet and feet smell. That's right. Um, so this is it. We don't wanna get too crazy with it, but let's talk about 10 quick tips to stop your boots from smelling. What's the first? First, rotate your boots, let them rest, let them fully dry. Because if you're working in your boots or it's a hot day, all that sweat and moisture is gonna stick in your boot. And if it doesn't fully dry, the next day you're just compounding that moisture and that stinkiness in the boot. If you don't let them fully dry, that's where that bacteria and everything starts growing inside your boot, causing that smell. So let them rest, let them fully dry before you wear them again. Yes, to clarify, when we say rotate your boots, uh, we mean have a rotating roster right. of boots. Like most people, they get upset when they hear about this as well actually because boots are not cheap footwear. But nonetheless, you shouldn't wear the same boots every day. Yeah. Um, because among other things, it can make them more stinky because they're not getting time to rest and dry out in between wears. Yeah. It also, the boots are gonna last longer because like they're not gonna be as, as moist on the inside mm. if they get time to dry out. Uh, the stitching and stuff is gonna last longer, all this kind of stuff. This could be either good or bad news to you if you like mm. boots, but get, get at least two pairs of boots. Yeah. That's the first tip. Number two is to use shoe trees if you are having trouble with stinky feet and you're at your wits end. That's what these tips kind of are, right? Like we're not saying every single thing here is going to work perfectly for you, but if you've tried everything except these tips, you know, give try, it a shot. To, try these out, give it a shot. Shoe trees, not everybody has these, but you should because they're typically made from cedar. I would advise against getting like a plastic one because although plastic ones, they help the boot to maintain its shape, so to avoid toe spring, which is like, you know, when the, the front of the boot just like slowly comes off the ground like that, which uh, I have in some of my earlier videos before I started using shoe trees and everyone on the internet was yelling at me <laughs> about it. Plastic ones will help the boots keep their shape, but cedar shoe trees, they help to suck up moisture on the inside of the boot. And also cedar itself is naturally antifungal and antibacterial and that kind of stuff. And it so, smells good. And it smells good, yeah. So it can go, that can go a really long way to extending the lifespan of your boots as well. Third is buying a breathable boot. If you don't need a waterproof boot, if you don't need a really thick boot, just don't get something that has a really heavy lining in it because that's just gonna trap in that moisture. It's not gonna allow your feet to breathe. So buy a breathable boot if you need a breathable boot. Yeah, that's, that's a really good point. Like there's a, you, you hear waterproof, I think I'd rather get the waterproof mm -hmm. boot, but like a regular Goodyear welt on a, on a regular like resolable boot, um, that's plenty waterproof. It's not right. technically waterproof, you can't stand in a lake all day, but like- But if, if it's it, like raining outside- If it's raining, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what you need. So a Goodyear welt is, is more than enough for the average person if you encounter any water. And that kind of construction is more is much more breathable. The same goes for a lot of other stuff, right? Like like canvas jackets mm -hmm. breathe, wax canvas jackets yeah. are waterproof, but they don't breathe at all, and you're yeah. gonna be sweaty and uncomfortable in them if you uh, are always wearing that, especially if it's kind of hot out. So yeah, you can you can sweat and get stinkier. Insulated boots can smell easily. Waterproof boots can smell easily, and also non-leather boots can right. smell easily. That's this is the next the next one. What's okay. the next one? Buy better boots. Not that, uh, buy as good of a boot as you can afford because a better boot's gonna have more leather in it and for whatever reason, leather just seems like it doesn't smell as fast or as much. And so the higher quality of the boot, the more leather's gonna be through the sole construction, the more leather there's gonna be in the upper construction and the less that synthetic material is gonna be on the inside that's gonna lead to faster smelling boots. That's gonna hold on to that moisture versus leather has that breathability and it allows your, your feet to breathe a little bit better. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the tanning process is like dedicated to deputrification yeah. as well, right? That's gotta be part of it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is about it, but they Leather just doesn't smell, smell as bad, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then uh, artificial things, mm -hmm. they, not to be too general about it, but they, yeah. they tend to be less cool and smell worse. Yeah. Next, wash your feet. It's hard, you gotta bend down in the shower, <laughs> scrub your toes, but that's gonna go just as far as any of these other things. Because if your feet naturally smell because you're not washing them, Wash your feet. This is like, this might sound very obvious, but I would challenge the average person watching this <laughs> to think of the last time that they bent down in the shower and sudsed up their feet. It's like a meme now that like most people just don't wash the lower <laughs> half of their body. Like they just, they just think their legs are gonna just take care of themselves in the shower. And you know, maybe for the average person, maybe that is true. But if you struggle with smelly feet, um, get down there and give your, give your feet yeah. a good wash. And give it's also, loofah. yeah. Give some abrasion in there. It's also worth uh, doing stuff like, like a foot soak. That's a thing that a lot of people 
like as part of their, their foot hygiene protocol, which is like sort of what this, this entry in the list is about. Mm. Hot dog that you put in some hot water. It's made with like salts, essential oils, that kind of stuff. And um, and these these oils and salts, like they're sort of antibacterial as well. So a lot of people find that foot soaks, in addition to, you know, just cleaning their feet, can help to reduce sinkiness throughout the day. And also like, some people have to be told to wear different socks every day. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a fair point. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one too. Same yeah. with the foot hygiene. Yeah, Change your socks. Soul foot hygiene. Wash right. your socks. Yeah, wash your socks. But also wool socks. You know, wool socks, I feel like they don't smell as much. So mm. higher quality socks as well. That's a great one, yeah. Um, all right, that's a new entry on the list then. Yeah. yeah. Bonus. Wool socks. <laughs> what do you think of wool versus cotton? I feel like wool's better. I, I always tend to go for wool. Yeah. Even in the summer. As, as far as stink, stinkiness yeah. goes, I think I think wool's a really good choice yeah. for your socks. Um, and people who try to save money on their socks. They can yeah. sometimes pay for that with the stinkiness. That's actually happened to me. I'm, I'm having a lot of flashbacks now to all the times <laughs> I've gotten cheap socks and they just stink. Yep. Uh, high quality material for the sock, that's definitely can be a really important part of it. Replacing the insoles. Yeah, as this well. is an easy one. Yeah. Because it's gonna give you more comfort. And I feel like the insoles themselves is what smells the most because it's underneath your foot where you're sweating the most. Water runs downhill. So if that insole is absorbing all your sweat and they're 15 bucks, 20 bucks, pull them out, put a new one in every few months. If your boots start stinking, it's an easy and affordable way to do it. Yeah, and, and like insoles are also often, if something's gonna be artificial in the boot, it's oftentimes yeah. the, the insoles, so you can have like some nice foam sure. for shock absorption, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes there's a decent chance that uh, if it's the materials that are the problem, it's the insole is the, yeah. the source of the issue. So yeah, that's that's definitely worth thinking about as well. Next up, we got some, uh, we kind of scoured the internet mm -hmm. to find some natural kind of woo-woo remedies right. um, that, uh, you know, that are a little bit less high tech than some the other options some people have. So I mentioned essential oils earlier, actually, with the with the foot soak. Some people do find that like dropping a few drops of essential oils into your boots can actually help them to unstink a little bit because of the, like something like tea tree oil has like some antibacterial and antifungal properties and everything like that. Some people just like try and drop a few drops of that into their boots at the end of a long day and find that, that really can substantially help the smell. On a related note, some people put their tea bags in their boots mm. for a similar effect uh, instead of dropping them in the trash and squeeze out the water, drop them in the boots, see what happens. Another, uh, lemon peels. That's something that a lot of people find can be can be very helpful. There's also talcum powder, because that, that but that's actually less woo-woo, because talcum right. powder, it, it sucks up moisture, right? Yeah. And that's oftentimes the, the source of the, of the stink, right? So talcum powder, and also dryer sheets. That probably doesn't actually count as a natural remedy because they're kind of high tech, but that, <laughs> that's a, it's one of the weirder, kind of crunchy granola mum type, type yeah. uh, remedies that you would find uh, out there. But this, a lot of people talk about this, a dryer sheet in the boot at the end of the day, maybe with like a sprinkling of talcum powder on it. Uh, a lot of people find that the next day it is, you know, it's, dry, yeah. it's, it's drier in there, it's less and, funky, and it, it uh, doesn't smell as much. And ultimately, if it's even slightly helping with the smell, even masking the smell a little bit, it's better than nothing. Yeah. And I would say the only thing with the talcum powder, go light. You mm -hmm. don't want to start building a talcum powder cake inside your boot. But on that note about how like the dry sheet, the talcum powder helps you like suck up moisture, the, the, the next entry we wanted to talk about was storing them. Yeah. People do not store their boots correctly. People will take their boots off, leave them in their truck, it's hot outside and they just, they just, uh, just slowly melt and grossify into and this if the windows shut, stinky, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be all funky oh. and swampy in there. And yeah, it's not great. So take your boots off, open them up, undo the laces to some degree so that the tongue's open, and store them in a, a, a not in a closet. Just store them out where there's some some airflow. Yeah, you know, don't seal them up and throw them in your truck. Yeah, Put yeah, them in a box. Yeah, yeah. Breathe. Like think about that. Like you know, you, you take the boots off if they're stinky. Again, this is about like stuff like. What's that? Like, like, like a swampy sort of atmosphere yeah. inside the boot. If you take them off your feet after a long day of it being like wet and funky in there, and then you put them into a dark closet, like they're not gonna dry out. Yeah. They're, not, they're just gonna, the problem's not gonna get any better. And um, even better, the last one, get a boot dryer. Cause that's just gonna expedite that process of that airflow flowing, flowing through the boot, removing that moisture. And it's a really easy way to expedite that process of drying the boot out. Yeah, boot dryers are interesting. Like a lot of people don't know they exist, uh, but they are, they're considered like indispensable in a lot of places in the country, especially yeah. in places like, you, you'll often find them in like hiking lodges mm -hmm. and, and that kind of stuff where, you know, you'll be in boots all day, like proper hiking boots and they've gotten like absolutely wet and trash. Yeah. But in any case, if your feet get wet, or even one could argue if you have like stinky feet as well mm -hmm. and you're keeping them kind of a bit too moist on the inside. Yeah, yeah boot dryers can be helpful with that. They're sort of, they can be like large machines, but I've seen some that are yeah. like under under 50 bucks. Yeah, like there's some been, small ones you just yeah. plug into the wall, do one pair of boot at a time. Yeah, yeah, and, and especially if you have a, like a, 
pretty, I don't know, kind of pretty manual job. If your feet are really, if you're really like kind of working in mm. your work boots throughout the day, um, it can accrue some pretty serious wetness <laughs> on the inside. Um, and, and a lot of guys do find that a, a boot dryer is the number one way that they can, yeah. uh, that's like the, the, the final fix for keeping the boots stink free and uh, they, they can work for a lot of people. So yeah. did we order that list in list in like order of urgency? I don't know, but that the boot dryer, that's like your last stitch, very important. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, it's fair. Cool. Sweet, all right, well look, there's, uh, I've got an article on my website in the description below with a few other tips as well. Those are the main ones and that's our whole video. What kind of, weird sort of remedies you have for uh, making your boots not stink right. that we haven't listed. Uh, let us know in the comments below. Subscribe to Rose Anvil. I didn't really do the whole promoting him thing earlier. I just That's said he's, right. he's some guy from YouTube. <laughs> His channel is amazing. It's like 10 times bigger than mine. It deserves to be. It's fantastic. He cuts boots in half. He knows everything about boots and it's, fan it's fantastic. How do you like that? Does that sound good? That was, that was perfect. Great. All right. Subscribe here as well if you just wound up here. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.